Okay, I'm gonna talk about the best homeschool science curriculum, I think, for elementary. So a couple different years we're gonna talk about elementary in the whole and a bunch of different products. But of course, first, products of the day. Now let me show you on the screen, I'm gonna show you snap circuits. No, snap ships. Snap ships are super cool. They're super cool because you can take them anywhere. Now, if you live in Canada and if you live in Europe, as I've tried to purchase them in both those countries and it, it's not worth your time, it's not worth your money to try and purchase them, they're not at a reasonable price. But if you're in the United States, that's what they were primarily made for. In the United States, they're decently priced and that's where I bought them on. I tried to buy them in two different countries, it didn't work. The prices were just astronomical, in my opinion, <laughs> to get them. But they're very cool and even, I would say, four and up can use them, even though it says eight and up. I mean, if you're making specifically what it's designed to do, like each one comes as a ship and you design that ship. So next up, another product I wanted to talk to you about, you can see it on the screen there, where is it? It's actually a ceramic knife, I get it. It's not homeschool related, but I love my ceramic knife. Rumor has it that it's actually glass and it's translucent. Now, a lot of people complain is that it breaks. Listen, I, I've had many ceramic knives over the year and they do break. But what stops them from breaking is I put a towel down over my cutting board. Now, why do you need a ceramic knife? So I have tried a million stainless steel knives and they were great for me. I don't have a problem with them for me. But when it comes to vegetables, some vegetables are real tough to cut or the skins of tomatoes and things like that. And this ceramic knife, I mean, look at that celery, the way it cuts through it, I'll, I'll show you. That's not slow motion or fast motion or anything like that. That was me just cutting celery. I actually have another video, hopefully I can find it, that I took of me cutting a bunch of different vegetables to, to demonstrate. But celery is the best one because celery is a difficult vegetable to cut through. So if you cut a ton of vegetables, oh my gosh, this is like a dream to me. I only got two more products for you, don't worry, two more products, these. If you haven't used these, look at what they do. So they're just little containers. You, you buy alfalfa seeds. For like five bucks, you can get a million alfalfa seeds or like a thousand, and you sprinkle them in every layer. That's it, and this holds water at the bottom. So you sprinkle them in every layer, then you put the lid on, you dump in a cup of water. And then every 24 hours, dump it out, and put a new thing of water in it. In five to seven days, you have sprouts. So the kids get to see them grow, and then you can take them, I rinse them, and you can use them. I use them on wraps, you can use them in salads. Don't put them in soup unless you spread them apart. Because otherwise you just have a giant clump. Like if you just clump them on, they're not gonna unclump in that soup. And then, <laughs> so this is the super duper safety school. I am telling you, I am telling you, as someone who was assaulted when she was a child, this book will help the child learn in a friendly way about who to trust, who not to trust, what does safe mean? Watch out for tricky people. Look at this, Gr safe grownups don't ask kids for help, especially when you're by yourself. Cause that's how adults trick kids. Hey, I need help, I need you to come look at something. That's how they trick kids. So this book, I wish I had it when I was a kid. I'm telling you. All right, so let's start with kindergarten. Kindergarten, I think you need Ada Twist Scientist and then really all I think you need to explain, if you don't want a science curriculum for kindergarten, I do not think so. Now let me preface this by saying that I, there's a couple things I want really, really, my kids to be really, really strong in. And one of them at the top of the list would probably be science. Science, Mom, math, vocab. I to do this. Away. Away. So my son uses these flashcards and they have words on one side with, with a picture so that he's able to commit it to memory. And then on the back of that, it's without. So I test him on both. So he is learning, I mean, a ton of sight words. So, I mean, he wanted to do it. What am I gonna do? Say, oh, sorry, I'm filming a video for YouTube. No, you want, sure. We could do that, no problem. Okay, so let's start with kindergarten. So kindergarten, the first book, I don't think you need a science curriculum for kindergarten. There is Blossom and Root, and Blossom and Root or is like the Gentle and Classical curriculum, except it's cheaper, it's only $20. You don't need any additional materials, it all comes there, and it's like a gentler version and a secular version of the Gentle and Classical curriculum. So if that's something you're interested in, you want a nature curriculum, you could do that. And included in that nature curriculum or that $20 curriculum is for, from Blossom and Root is also a space curriculum. So it talks about basically you're communicating with an alien and the alien's like writing you letters. And so you're gonna fill out this book 
that explains to you about that explains to them about life on earth like what things need to live and what kind of things you can find on earth and things like that so it's kind of cool you learn about space and you're doing a project as you go through it but that's from kindergarten to grade two right like any like there's not a definitive age as to in my opinion as to when you can start a lot of these things you got to do it based on the child so that was the problem with gentle and classical is that it's very intensive there's a lot of stuff and i do not like intensive programs but you can use it throughout and if you want a really thorough nature program where you're talking about different types of mushrooms you're talking about these things then yeah go with the gentle and classical i would also get ada twist scientist my book for kindergarten would be ada twist scientist you can get it at the library because basically it talks about experiments so then get one of those experiment kits i will link some in the description that i like and do the experiment but before you do the experiment, talk about the experiment and say, okay, what do you think is going to happen? Like, this is your hypothesis. What do you think is going to happen? And then either on blank pages, they can draw out what they think is going to happen, or you can jot it down for them. And then at the end, discuss the results. And the key thing about this age group or about science in general and getting results is that sometimes you need to argue about them or discuss them, but even sometimes arguing, if you will, or debate, I guess debate's a friendlier word as to why this is valid like as they get older and why it's not and who found different results with different things and how did that happen now along those lines is around this time from kindergarten grade one grade two is snap circuits snap circuits is also about problem solving i was so intimidated by them you do not need to be intimidated by them i'll link the beginner set on there that i think is really cool because you can do a bunch of different projects and you just open the book and then there's a project. And so it's like, hey, do we wanna make something light up? Do we wanna make something fly? Do we wanna do this? You follow it, you copy the picture. So you can't F it up. I mean, you copy the picture and then if it's not working, you're like, hmm, let's problem solve this. Do we do part one? Do we do, do we put this here? Is this upside down? Are the batteries good? Let's test the batteries and things like that. And then it's got a little square where you read the square and it tells you how it works and what it does. And that's it, you've done snap circuit okay so that is my kindergarten recommendation next up it is grade one of course i don't have the grade one curriculum with me my favorite grade one curriculum my favorite grade one curriculum by the time you get into by the time you get into like grade four and five and six they're teaching college level concepts but at a kid level again created by a homeschool mom and i quite like it and it also the same company created these books so if you have an older child, like I did not, I was like, what? I, I couldn't tell you what a molecule was till I read these books. I couldn't tell you what a polymer is. I couldn't tell you what an atom is till I read these books. Speaking of which, I got this kit here. So this kit, let me show you. So one of these is an atom, but if you put a couple of them together, they make molecules. I know, it's crazy. And then if that repeats, I believe it's a polymer. I know. Where did I learn it from? Bum, bum, bum. These books. So I'm going to put my favorite ones because I don't necessarily think you need all of them. They have them for every area of science and I ordered them for four out of five areas because F astronomy. We got a ton of astronomy stuff, so I wasn't going to pay for the astronomy ones, even though I'm so tempted. But no, so I did order the other ones. I will show you when they come in, but for right now, I will post my favorite ones out of the chemistry on there. This is from the chemistry series. Now, if you haven't seen it very quickly, and Adam, is this guy, is the moon made of cheese? No, are clouds cotton candy? No, they're not. Are frogs made of green slime? They are not. If you did not know this, they are made of atoms. So it tells you everything. It's funny when teaching, I heard my son explain to my other son about how atoms are in everything and atoms make up everything. God invented atoms. And I was like, all right, you go with that. That works for me. So now that is the curriculum that I love for that. Now I will say I'm doing a whole Usborne haul and a book haul. I'm also including all my favorite ones in this other video. I have them all stacked up. I know I also promised a grade one to a grade one haul and products are all stacked up, stacked up for that as well. But these are your best deal buy them 35 bucks the usborn science collection i will leave it on there they have a history one a science collection very good i don't think you need to buy the ones outside of that the usborn ones because we have them and i just don't think it's necessary unless you want to buy usborn ants because your kid has a love of ants then cool but fyi if your kid has a love of ants ants canada on youtube is where it's at a plus to that show okay so let's look so this is so they got 
weather, planet Earth, your body, solar system, astronomy, volcanoes, storms and hurricanes, living in space, sun, moon and stars, earthquakes and tsunamis. So what we do at breakfast. I do not homeschool very long and the reason I don't is because of the way I do certain things. First of all, I skip all busy work. Second of all, during breakfast, what we're gonna do is we are gonna read one of these, for example. We pull out one of these and before we get to the fun books, which are just regular picture books, we are gonna read like, for example, Planet Earth. And it talks about, so I just wanna show you, there's not a lot of text, but there's a lot of information that you can glean from here, even up to, I'm telling you, even I honestly think age eight, you can glean some information that maybe you didn't know. Now, the problem with science is you don't wanna be arrogant because you can look at things and be like, this is a fact. Essentially, a fact is just a theory that hasn't been disproven. So for example, Pluto's a planet. Yeah, well, that's been disproven, if you will, and now it's considered a mini planet, right? So not all books, like it's really tough to get books that are like super up to date with information because our universe changes, we have more studies, people learn more, like how do they know that's a core into the earth? They haven't gone that far into earth. How do I know that? Another book, one of my, my favorite all time books, which is sitting over there, I'll put it on the screen. It talks about everything that goes on in the earth and everything that goes on in the water. Um, the big things from animal and people made. And it talks about how far we've gone down in the earth. So we do not know that there's a core there. So when you say, oh, it's a fact there's a core in the center of the earth, that's a theory that hasn't been disproven. Magic school bus. Now, at first I didn't like reading them. I didn't like reading them because there's an intense amount of text. But what I realized is that you read this when they're younger, and then when they get a bit older, you can start reading this. And then when they get, and then when they get even older, then you read the extra stuff here. Again, not all that science stuff is up to date, right? Because we learn more information, um, but it's pretty good. It's, it's not bad. Okay, let's talk about a couple different science curriculums. If your children are older, if they're a bit older, you can start, you can do this series, the Elemental Science series. And what it's from Elemental Science, it's the Sassafras Science Adventures. And it's these kids go on a bunch of different adventures in a bunch of different areas of science. Okay, so there's that. So there, these are good read alouds that you can also print off pictures based on the topic because based on the table of contents, it does tell you what you're studying that day. Oh, we're studying the grasslands here. Oh, we're off to the desert. Oh, things like that, okay, in zoology. And then they have one in geology. So they got five different areas. Now, a good, if you look at Mr. Q Science, Mr. Q Science is another one of my top science programs. Mr. Q Science, they give away the life science for free. So it's basically written by a high school teacher. It's everything you need to know in elementary before you get to high school. Okay, so all the main concepts, so there's not busy work in it. So if your child's a little older and you're like, hey, let's deep dive into, and then they got, you know, four or five different areas in which they cover, including physics is one of them, I'm sure chemistry. And, but the biology one is free and it's, it, I think it's great. What else they have is my favorite science curriculum that I have showed you also has, if you want them to bone up on a subject, it's like, it's the focus on series. So it's no busy work and it gives you concentrated information on chemistry and all those different areas. So let me see if there's anything else I didn't cover. Oh, I haven't done noeo science, right? Like I have noeo science, I don't even know how you say it. I wish they would choose names I could pronounce. Noeo, Noeo, I don't know, Neo Science, and I have their chemistry is coming. And that's from, I wanna say, anywhere from grade one to grade three. So we're gonna do that as well. And I'm pretty excited about that. Here's a book for older children that is very good. It's The Elements of Visual Exploration of Every Known Atom in the Universe. Now, there's also a cartoon version of this that I have coming that I will post. So kind of a graphic novel, if you will, of this. And there's also a graphic novel one of, I want to say chemistry as well that I was looking at that I will post um, in the description as well. So you can take a look at those if that's a preferred learning method to this. But this is basically, gives a little rundown of them, some, informing, some in interesting information about it as well. Okay, last thing I want to talk about is what I would not purchase. What I would not purchase, look at this, look at this. This is like part one level A, if you will, from Sunlight. I have Sunlight HBL coming, so I'm gonna check that out because I really like their American, that concept they had going on, so that's why I purchased that. But it's my second second or third curriculum that I have purchased from Sunlight. This I do not recommend. This is such an intensive curriculum. Like, the kindergarten book is this size for kindergarten, and that's not even, that's not even part of it. There's still a whole bunch of other things that come with it, and the parts are so obscure for experiments. Come on. Come on, I can't have a whole bunch of obscure parts for experiments. Mr. Q's experiments and 
Um, the other two curriculums that I mentioned today that I really like, their cards are not obscure. I can find Legos, I can. But what I can't find is like super little tiny wooden wheels. Yeah, I can't find those, sorry. And I'm not going to, I'm not gonna, if you, like that'd be fine if it was like, hey, this is the only experiment in which you have to track down something a little complicated. Okay, but every experiment, you have to track down something. And I'm not interested in that. And even if you buy the $78 box, it's just a lot. I just think it's really intensive. And I don't think, like, how do you know what's important when this is your whole curriculum book? Oh my gosh, are you gonna teach for hours? Like hours, it's just so overwhelming to me. And, not, and it's expensive because you think when they give you a student packet that you only need to buy the student packet for the other students, right? Like you're like, hey, I paid, you know, 350 bucks. I got all this stuff. I only need to buy an additional student packet on top of it. Oh, no, 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 my friend. Because there's printables in this too. There's printables in this. There's printables in like two other things that you have to print as well in the instructor's guide. You got to get instructor's guides for every kid unless you have like a photocopier and then your kids, the other kids aren't going to get colored. Are they going to feel like they're less than? I don't know. I don't know. This whole thing, this whole thing of four days of what? Four days of science. I mean, I don't understand what you are learning. Is science really like, I get it. Are you getting your doctorate by the time you're in grade eight? Are they going to have their doctorates? Because if they are, I fully support this curriculum then. But if not, and you're just going to be, you know, you're just going to know like maybe grade eight, grade nine, grade 10 science. It's just how much work did that kid put in? Unless, and that parent trying to get their kid to answer all the questions, ugh. Unless you, the exception being, if you don't mind that you're, and it's a ton of experiments and you don't mind it, then yeah, you go for it. But no, pass. I'm not saying they don't learn stuff. Sure they learn stuff. You know where else they learn stuff? TV. <laughs> I swear to you, peekaboo kids. They learn stuff there. I know, crazy. YouTube, YouTube. <laughs> I just, it's just intensive to me and I was overwhelmed. I'm irritated with myself because I missed the send back date for it and I'm gonna give it away sometime. I'm gonna do a contest at some point and people can have um, the kindergarten, the level A, the level B, which is kindergarten one, two, and grades one, two, and maybe even three, I don't know. And they can have it and I'll ship it all out to them. Eventually at some point, when I reach a thousand subscribers so I can actually have some money in which to send it out because who knows how much it would be to send out. Okay, so that's basically, I got two more books to show you that I think are pretty cool. Human Body Theater, of course, but I ordered the coolest books. I ordered the coolest books, this set from Dr. Bones. I'm gonna put it in the description. I cannot wait till it comes. I cannot wait to show you. But for now we have this, which is still very cool. Human Body Theater, he's a skeleton. Talks about bones, talks about cells. Nice, colorful information about the body, which is very cool. And this animals book by Usborne, a lot of people like it. A lot of people like the Animal Burgess book as well. I do not have that book, so I don't know. But um, anyway, it just talks about different, different, I don't know what they are, different ecosystems. Like you're in the desert one time, you're in, you know, you're at the, de and same with some of the Usborne books I have that I'm gonna show you in the Usborne hall. So you're in the desert and then you're in the rainforest and then you're, you know, the prairies and, and things like that. So it's kind of cool to talk about those different systems and the Himalaya mountains and some animals that are there. I think that's kind of cool. And I think you can do the same thing where you pull open the book, you pull it out and you're like, okay guys, let's talk about some bears for a bit. Let's talk about the Rocky mountains and maybe do a little mini unit on the Rocky mountains. I have some lesson plans, a blank lesson plan template that I use when I'm going to make when I'm gonna go rogue and like decide we're studying Egypt or we're studying the, you know, the Rocky Mountains. Um, so I will put that, I think I'll put that down below as well if I can track it down and find it. And it, it just helps uh, make your own mini lessons. Okay, I hope you got some helpful information. Au revoir. Can you say please like and subscribe? Please like to like. And hit the bell for notifications. You barely know that they didn't. <laughs> <laughs>